Well, we're here with Dr. Bachman from Pennsylvania in the city of Hartborough, in fact. Uh, Dr. Bachman, how are you this uh, new year here? I'm great, Helmut. How are you? Good. Um, Dr. Bachman, you are a dentist and you do see children in your practice, even though uh, you obviously see adults and do implants and all that type of stuff. But you also do see right. children, am I right? Yes, we do. Good. Well, tell me. What do you think? What advice do you have for a mom who is having a new baby? When should she bring the child to the dentist? What should we pay attention to? Uh, you know, things like that. Well, a couple of little things that we should always think about. Uh, children should be seen at their general dentist between the ages of two and four. Uh, by this time, some dentition has already developed, and the child is starting to develop what we call their occlusion in their teeth. And it's always a good idea to be checked between that age, between two and four. Um, if, if the child cannot be seen by a general dentist, it should be seen by a children's dentist, which are called pedodontists, and they're very, very good. Uh, one of the things we'd like to tell uh, new mothers is that the children, the baby, should never be put into the crib with milk or juice. Uh, if you want to put the baby in bed with a bottle, it should be just pure distilled water. Because we find that if the milk lays on the teeth as well as uh, different fruit juices, it can cause some problems even with the young dentition. Mm. Well, it makes sense. I mean, after all, we are thought yeah. so. Even from young on, we are trained to brush our teeth after we eat and, and all that stuff. Right. So why would you want to soak your teeth in uh, pure sugar, I guess? Right, exactly. But a lot of times for convenience, the, the parent wants to get the child to stop crying. They'll put them to bed with a bottle, and then right. it opens up a whole can of worms. So. Yeah. So scotch is okay, right? I mean, you know. Because uh, a good, a good uh, single malt scotch is fine. <laughs> it puts the kid to sleep. I mean, they do that now. Absolutely. Yeah. And they, they, over, they overdo it. You know, they do wine and they give the, 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 the kid the, that's the best babysitter. Right. And uh, sometimes they would there, do it. And you do have a handicapped child there. So obviously that was a joke. I'm sure everybody knows that. Of course, of course. But, um, but in any case, so, you know, as a child comes to a dentist with two to three years, I mean, usually there's really no work to do there, is there? Um, Ge right. Generally, there is not. But sometimes we see children, even that young, with dental caries or other problems. Okay. And, um, and, and it probably um, gets the child used to see the doctor, you know, and yet he didn't have to pull out that ugly, you know, thrill. <laughs> so it's just correct. Like get, get used to it and realize that uh, this is a pleasant experience. Sometimes this helps. Exactly. Helpful. They should bring the child to the dentist, um, you know, just when they themselves go and be there and, and, and fly around in the dental chair a little bit and stuff like that. I advise all my patients to do that with young children, yeah. So they get to see what the office is like, they, they meet the staff, and it's not a scary experience for them. Now, what about brushing? I mean, a young child can't really hold that brush. Should he right. brush? Should the mom do it? Should she do it with a brush, with something else? Um, right. Take some light on it. Well, what we usually tell moms to do with the, with the very, very young children is that those teeth, before the child goes to bed or after they've eaten, can be wiped off with just a damp uh, washcloth that can be used. Uh, also, if you want to get some gauze, you can moisten the gauze and then wipe the teeth off with that. So we usually try to do that when the child is very young. As they get older, sometimes they see their older siblings or their mom and dad using a toothbrush, and there's a wide variety of children's toothbrushes on the market that they could use, but only after they're about two years old. Okay. All right. Anything the mom should be worrying, concerned, or anything she can do if and when the baby starts teething and, um, you know, Obviously, in most cases, has pain and cries a little bit. Right. You just like go over it, just kind of ignore it. What, what should you do? Well, you know, this is an age-old problem, and we've all experienced it, those of us that have children, and we dentists are no different. Uh, you're going to generally see with a child that is teething a slightly elevated temperature, and there may be diarrhea or some gastrointestinal upset. So a lot of times when we think the child may have a virus or something, it's really not. It's that they're teething. 
There's not a heck of a lot you can do for teething. There are a lot of these devices on the market. There are teething rings that you can put in the refrigerator that get cold. The child can sort of chew on that, and it sort of helps ease the pain. Uh, if, if the pain appears to be really severe, children's Tylenol can sometimes be used, but I would always consult with the child's, uh, uh, the, the child's physician to see if that's advisable to use that. Okay. All right. Well, I think that should give um, some information uh, to the moms and uh, how to handle the, the teething process. It doesn't seem to be too complicated. It just no. seems to be normal growing vein, common sense. Abs right. right. Go, go through it. Get the child used to the dentist as a friend rather than the first time, you know, right away have a lots of uh, uh, work to do, kind of. Exactly. Well, wonderful. Thanks a lot, Dr. Backman. You're welcome. Take care.